Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. Now, when our police officers, 400 of them, were ferried from Kenya to Haiti, we were told the main reason was them to be part and parcel of peacekeeping mission in Haiti. But as we speak, Kenyan police are now guarding the U.S. Embassy in Haiti. How did we get here? We have become a complete puppet of the West. When our police officers are being fed, where there is a war, we go there to protect their properties, not to assist, to keep peace in those nations. I realized something that is very crucial. I want to share photos here. As you can see, this is the embassy of the United States of America in Haiti. You can see clearly our police officers guarding the embassy. In other words, we ferried our police officers, 400 of them, to protect the United States of American properties not to keep peace in Haiti, then it is now a clear indication that we as Kenyans, we are now American puppets. This is the reason why we have been always saying that William Ruto is the man that led us to this uh, mission. Why? When he was requested to deploy the police officers in Haiti, the main reason was to deal with the gangs in Haiti that has been there for a long period of time, not to go and protect the Haiti embassy, the, the U.S. embassy in Haiti. They have their forces. Why can't they protect their own embassy? Why is that our Kenyan police officers are protecting, protecting the U.S. embassy in Haiti? When the police officers arrived in Haiti, the way you can see in the video, you can understand clearly that there was a force behind the scene. That is why they were promised. William Ruto, his government, was promised billions of money if they were going to deploy their police officers in Haiti. And in fact, those who were forcing and pressurizing the deployment of our police officers, of course, it was U.S. And even it was U.S. that promised that they were going to donate billions of money to support the Kenyan police mission in Haiti. So they had a secret agenda. They had a secret agenda. Then, of course, we don't have any mission in Haiti but to protect the American properties. We don't have any mission but to protect the people of the U.S. who are in Haiti. And that is what is like coming out as something that we never knew that this was the mission of William Ruto and his counterpart Joe Biden. But now, as you speak, how many African countries they have deployed their police officers in Haiti? Because you know, Kenyan police have not experienced so much than even other army or even police officers across Africa. But leave alone that. Something that I've realized also with William Ruto is just doing something so that he can be recognized as a celeb, a president who is a celeb, a president who do not understand the reason why he's doing some certain decisions. But despite of that, we have reached at a time that our country is being controlled by West countries and U.S. And if you don't follow, then you don't get the loans. Remember IMF and World Bank, the headquarters in U.S. So U.S., they are having more influence towards this IMF and World Bank. At the same time, remember, those African presidents, 
who are usually now becoming U.S. puppet, they know that if they do not do something that U.S. directs them to do, then they will not succeed, either to have loans or some developments. And that is why, look at West countries, their behaviors. They told you, do this. If you don't do this, you don't get the development. Do this. If you don't do the, this, you don't have the fundings. So that is where we as a country, we are because of the Kenya Kwanzaa government. But now, can William Ruto reverse and recall our police officers? Because it is so bad. Kumbe, kazi ya Kenya police ilikuwa ya kulinda embassy ya US in Haiti. Yeah? That was the, the mission of this deployment of our police officers. I know it remains 400, 600 of them who should be employed because we were told a thousand of them are needed in Haiti. But remember, with intelligent reports that we are getting, is that the U.S. How do I create your Shidayoti in Haiti? And so for them, for them, what they want, they want to use other countries to clear their mess, protect their properties in Haiti, as them, they are enjoying destroying other country uh, other country uh, uh, peace uh, peace you know they want to destroy the peacefulness of the country so that as they exploit you in the name of assisting you to develop they create chaos that is why some african countries they usually don't tolerate this kind of um, behaviors that we've seen um, with either West countries or U.S. Why? Because they know if they do, don't do something that favors these West countries or U.S., they will not get either loan or they will not get funding or fundings to their development. So I was shocked when I saw our police officers are now the U.S. workers in Haiti. As if that is not enough, we are waiting to see if the peace is going to be sustained in Haiti. Not that our police officers are going to protect the U.S. properties. That is it. So I know sometimes someone will come out and say, what is the problem? Our police officers are protecting the U.S. Embassy. But again, I have a problem. Why is it that our police officers are protect, protecting their embassy, their embassy, yet they have special forces than even us? Why should they protect their own, uh, their own embassy? So it is so bad, and this thing must be reversed. It is not something that is usual. We cannot be used like this, days and nights, in the name of looking for loans, in the name of looking for development. Yeah? We want not to be puppets of these people. If this is what they did to make our police officers to protect them and not to keep peace in Haiti, then I think it is just a matter of time. But we will not accept such kind of actions. That we have a president that will just wake up early in the morning, decide that today, you are going to assist a certain country. Yeah? Where there is a war or crisis. But some individuals, few individuals, want to benefit from the deployment of the Haiti or any other country. So I think it is painting a bad picture for the agreement that was printed in between William Ruto's government and Joe Biden's U.S. government. Because I know those who influenced the deployment of police officers in Haiti was none other than U.S. And that is why our police officers are protecting their embassy in Haiti. And this must be condemned. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm not saying that's a bad thing.